Good morning, Hornet Nation. I'm Gadi. The end of the first quarter is in one week, next Friday, October 13th. If you found yourself struggling through the first nine weeks in your core classes, you can now get some help after school. Tutoring is available Monday through Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30, with a different subject being covered every day. Refer to the flyers posted in your classrooms for specific help and pick up a permission slip from Student Services or the Building 20 office. All students who come to tutoring must have their own transportation. Speaking of tutoring, there's a large group on campus that won't need it anymore as over 100 juniors and seniors have achieved the reading requirements for a diploma. This is great news and it does mean that these students will no longer require their reading class. But please remember to be patient. Our school is busting at the seams right now and in order to move you out of reading, we have to have a different elective class to place you into. Please be patient as guidance and admin adjust courses to make this happen. We are very proud of all of you that cleared this hurdle, which leads us into our student of the week. HNN reporter Ismaela has more. Hi Hornets, it's me Ismaela, and today I'm joined by Vanessa. Vanessa is our academic focus for this week. She has a 4.5 GPA and she is enrolled in tons of dual enrollment classes. So Vanessa, can you help us understand how you stay motivated to stay motivated, I think about college and just my future and what I want for myself. Okay. And do you ever struggle to balance your schoolwork and your social life at all? Honestly, I don't. I think you need to make time for everything in your life and it's just about time management. Okay. And, you know, does it ever affect your mental health? Does it cause you any type of anxiety or... Um, I do get stressed out a lot because I have, especially this year since it's my senior year, I have a lot, like I have to apply to scholarships and colleges and on top of my schoolwork. So it is kind of stressful, but I don't really let it like impact me or affect me. Okay, and for our last question will be for the viewers. Do you have any type of advice that you'd like to give to them? Um... For the incoming freshmen, I do have advice that they need to stay on top of their work. Even though they have an extra three years, They, you can't really redo your freshman year, and I feel like it's the most important. Okay, and this was Ismaela, and this was Vanessa. Uh, so see you next week, Hornets. Thanks, Ismaela, and congratulations, Vanessa, on all of your achievements. Moving on, as homecoming rapidly approaches, we can start to get excited about certain events on campus, such as Spirit Week, and pep rallies. Don't like the options being provided? You should join student government and make your voice heard. HNN reporter Alyssa got a chance to speak with some SGA officers. What's going on Hornet Nation? I'm Alyssa and today we are going to look into what goes on in student government. For our insights, long-term members Brianna and John will be assisting us. We will be answering your questions on what exactly they do and what keeps you invested. Well, student government is a student-led organization who primarily focuses on bringing up the, the changes and the concerns of students to our SAC committee, along with also planning events for our students. More students, if more students join, it would like help, you know, get the word out more, help with more fundraisers, more um, pep rallies, more all of that stuff. Being a part of SGA teaches students the skills required to plan and execute activities. It gives you experience beyond just brainstorming. Well, reflecting off the two years in student government along with being the social media manager, I learned that true leadership involves real hands-on learning, such as leading the pep rallies from center stage. This committee allows the students to affect things that directly impact them and influences the memorable events their peers take part in. Students gain soft skills and earn leadership qualities being in this club. That's all for this week. Seniors, check your school emails for a link to vote on this year's Senior Superlatives for Yearbook. Don't forget to look in your spam folder if you don't see it. Don't complain about the winners if you don't vote. For HNN, I'm Gadi, and we are Hornet Nation.